Power 96.1, we are backstage live at our sold-out Jingle Ball presented by Capital One, and I have Drew and Alex of the Chainsmokers What's with up? me. Ladies and gentlemen. Hi. What's up, bro? Not much. You guys good? Yeah, we've been on a plane or in an airport in Buffalo all day. All day? What? Yeah, so we're pumped to be off an airplane. Oh, my God. Good. What yeah. happened? Did you guys... It's Buffalo weather, man. Just uh, got, got delayed snowed with the weather? Snowed That's in. the worst. Yeah, yeah. What's, like, the craziest flight you've ever been on? Probably, like, like Asia? Uh, we had this United Airlines. I knew situation. that was the one you were going to bring up. <laughs> where they switched us from like three planes and it was like a 12 hour delay. I will never fly United ever again. And I stand by that. I, I, I hope ever. they're not a sponsor of this event. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. But if <laughs> they right, were, they're not going to be anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ever. Man, that's the that's ruthless. I, I actually went to South Korea and it was like a direct flight from Atlanta. Yeah. It's 15 and a half hours. Oh my like, God. On one flight. Yeah. I mean, we've done that plenty. But uh, that's the, yeah, it's no fun. That's, I like, I get so antsy. It's just yeah. like the worst. I don't know how you guys do it. Xanax. Just, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna that say is the key it, alert yeah. here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, man, you guys are having a heck of a 2016. You just got hit after hit after hit. I mean, congratulations. Seriously. Oh, thanks. Grammy nominations. Thank I mean, you. huge. Um, looking back on 2016, I mean, what's one thing you guys are taking away from, from this awesome year? Um, I mean, I think we kind of found ourselves and our sound, and we're just really enjoying doing it. Um, and it's great that people are receiving it so well. So we're going to continue on into 2017. You guys keep putting out a ton of music and. You guys, you guys definitely found the sweet spot. I mean, when you're creating a new track, what, what's like first for you guys? Like you just kind of come up with instrumental and it's like always different. Every song is different. Some things start with a beat. Some things start with a lyric. Some things start with the piano chords. Um, recently, though, we've been writing a lot, sitting at the piano and, and writing the song. And then when you have a moment of inspiration about what the production is going to sound like, we go there, which is actually backwards to how we started. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So it's actually like flipped completely. Yeah. Okay. So your song Closer, man, it's like... Amazing. Uh, Thanks. Love it, love it, love it. And, you know, you have Halsey on the track. So how'd the whole, you know, you guys and Halsey kind of get together with, with, like, figuring out who the vocalist was going to be? Uh, that was and the then with you, too. I mean, you yeah. obviously you're on the track, too. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. how'd you guys kind of, like, find the perfect pairing? Um, I mean, we've been big fans of hers for a long time now. And she's just a very unique type of artist. And, you know, the message of the song and the feel of it just felt like it would have been a perfect fit. And so we got in touch with her and played it for her. And she really liked it and it just was kind of like a match made in heaven there was really no other i don't know what plan b would have been yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well i'm yeah. plan a definitely worked out yeah, i mean yeah. it's number one song and yeah. you know i mean it, you guys yeah. absolutely crushed it with that and then you had Thanks. don't let me down with daya mm -hmm. that's another you know smash and mm -hmm. then uh, roses it's just mm -hmm. again hit after hit after thank hit. you <laughs> thanks yeah so what's uh like in 2017 like what do you think um it's gonna be like one thing you guys must accomplish in the new year um i'm trying to go to bali Bali, okay. On vacation, yeah. Nice, nice little yeah. exotic vacation. What about you? Uh, just stay skinny and not look too old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try to eat some chicken you wings. Must accomplish that yeah. next year. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pivotal year. Yeah. <laughs> and and no sleeping, no sleeping at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's not even an option. Team yeah. no sleep. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, can you give us like uh, a little insight into like what what tracks are next for you guys? Like any collaborations you can kind of hint no, about? No, definitely. Yeah, no? we're pretty no. secretive about yeah. that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Super locked. Yeah. Yeah. You, you kind of le leak some stuff yourself on Snapchat every once in a while. Yeah, like if you're yeah. working on a beat That's or something fun. like that. Yeah, you yeah. just get people excited. You know, because yeah. it doesn't really say much. We could just be there hanging out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who knows what, what, uh, what will it's come. It's so cryptic. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Very, it's very cryptic. Your Snapchats are very cryptic sometimes. I'm Good. trying to decipher like... Good. What's he plotting now? I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think people like immediate satisfaction nowadays. So, you know, teasing people with stuff, it can be cool. It depends on what kind of artist you are. For us, we like to just surprise people. And when, when they see it, they get it, you know, instead of just saying, it, this is, you know, this is happening. This is going to happen, yeah. yeah. That's great. And uh, how, how is it like being on the, uh, the iHeartRadio Jingle Ball Tour for you guys? I mean, it's got to be so dope just going out on stage and just like seeing all those fans just rocking out to your songs. Yeah, it's, mean, been, it's been really fun. Um, it's interesting for us because we're used to playing like two hour sets. And we, here we do 20 minutes, yeah. which is fun, you know, because we've had, you know, a bunch of big songs this year. So it's kind of cool to just go out and just do those. Yeah, yeah. And you have like a bunch of really just big moments in a row. So it's exciting. And we get to meet. It's like a much wider def demographic than we usually play for. There's a lot of younger kids and a lot of parents and whatever. So even um, the parents are rocking out. Yeah, yeah. no, it's oh, fun, everybody. To get, yeah. fun to get everyone dancing and have a good time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Drew and Alex, man, so, so happy that you guys um, are, are at our show. I can't wait to see you guys yeah, on stage. Thank and you. And again. Congratulations on 2016, oh, the Thanks, Grammy bro. nominations, you thank guys, you. on fire. Thank you guys so much. Thanks. Power 96.1's Jingle Ball.